there's been a long-standing effort on the part of uh, Republicans and Democrats to take advantage of energy efficiency. It's a place where there's been significant common ground in real common effort. Uh, Adam Kinzinger and I have worked on this. Uh, he's done a great job. Uh, in the previous Congress, when Cory Gardner was a colleague on this committee, he's now in the Senate. Uh, he's co-sponsoring this bill uh, with uh, Senator Coons. Uh, and what is tremendous about this is that we all agree that less is more when it comes to using energy. In whatever the fuel source, if you're using less and you're saving money, that's a good thing. And it's also a good thing because when you're implementing energy uh, efficiency uh, projects, uh, as Mr. McKinley and I know, you're putting local folks to work. And in this legislation, what we're trying to do is clear away the obstacles to the federal government, which is a huge energy uh, consumer, from being able to retrofit its buildings. And the public-private partnership here allows for energy-saving performance contracts and utility-saving performance contracts to make a bid. They do an audit on the building and they show us where they can save money. And then, here's the great thing, they put the at-risk money up front to implement those changes and get paid on the back end as energy consumption declines and we receive, we the taxpayers, receive the benefit of that retrofit. So it's, a, it's just a tremendous practical opportunity for us to save energy, lower our carbon footprint, put people to work, and not put taxpayer money at risk. So I, I want to thank my uh, colleagues uh, on the Republican side for their leadership on this. I want to thank uh, Mr. Rush uh, uh, and uh, my colleagues on the Democratic side. But we've got to make it possible for the ESPCs uh, and the utility performance contractors to get this done and not have obstacles that are legislative and bureaucratic. So I thank you, Mr. Chairman, for uh, uh, having this be part of the legislation. Please continue on.